must proceed with caution. Legion, this is Nomad. Over. Finley is Dr. Ballard's former colleague. He's working under duress on Amber Ruin. He attempted to escape by plane with his work. We haven't heard from him since. Find Finley. Escort him to Dr. Ballard at the extraction point. His work is key to cracking the antidote. He's being detained in Whalers Bay Airfield. The building's entrance is accessible only by air. Copy. No matter. Right, so he's detained in the Whalers Bay Airfield. The only access to his jail is through the rooftop. And if we get spotted, Dr. Finley will be executed. And that sounds bad. So, I think we are going to have to do the parachute way in. So, we'll just prep for a paradrop onto the target, shall we? If I were a betting man, I'd say the jail is probably the tall building close to the tower. Pop the chute now! Prep for Halo insertion. Infiltration successful. Disable the mortar. Interesting rules. Sentinel Corp members can freely use their w fire weapons in residences and cities to fight the outcasts. All the upper pedal is a free fire zone for the Sentinel Corps members. Interesting rules indeed. Apparently helping the outcasts is just a fine and free months jail, not, you know, summary execution or anything like that. Clear. I'll check the next room. There's no one here. Let's keep it going. Copy. Keep up the spotting. Ah, crap. This is not going to be easy. We'll need to breach that room, and we'll need to do it quickly. However, we can't get spotted. Kick it. Tango down. Gonna get you out of here, Dr. Finney. I'm working with Dr. Ballard. I, I trust you. I, I insist that we fly my plane. That's really risky. All of my work is hidden inside it. I can't leave it behind. Please. Don't have much choice then. Alright. We'll need to find the PC that contains the security solution for the building. It's probably one floor down then. So we're just gonna click the... Apparently this thing wants me to consult something. But we already know where the hell everything is, so... So yeah, now hopefully the tag will disappear and not clog up my vision. Yeah, so far I got nothing as well. Keep having nothing, please. Security doors are open. Let's go. It is highly unlikely that we need to remain stealthy here, but we still should esteem. There we go. Keep it going. They found him. We try to win the fight fast. Yes, we killed people because they deserve it. These are really bad arm race, as the president would say. 200 meters to the plane. Let's go. We'll try to make it. He's gone. Crap, we're compromised. 
Return fire, I say again, return fire loud, clear and hot. Protect the HVT. Change filters and go. See, this is why I brought a light machine gun to this party. Because when you need fire superiority, you need it now. Copy that, Ash. You're clear to engage. Eyes on more hostiles, they're coming from our front, behind. Let's go. He's gone. Keep it going, now. Set up a defensive perimeter around the runway, now. Doctor, let's get going. Enemy recce elements are being engaged. Keep up the fire, boys. Keep it up. Just cause as much casualties as you can. Heavy. We'll need to interfere here. Let's call one in. Call it in on the tower. Make sure whatever uh, ATCs the Sentinels got going there will not be bothering us. Everyone aboard the plane now. Night vision engaged. It's a Novichok agent, ten times more deadly than VX nerve gas. Brought into Aroa by Raven's Rock. The gas doesn't dissipate quickly, but instead lingers in the air for days. And the physiological effects are horrifying. Violent muscular spasms, immeasurable pain, pressure on the lungs that prevents respiration, which ultimately leads to death. NATO equipment can detect it, and Sentinel plans to sell it en masse like a product. Dr. Bell will find an antidote. I know it. Alright, we got the runway right there. Landing will be tricky, but uh, I think we can I think we can do it. Bush landings are not really my specialty, but I mean, you didn't spend a bunch of time in Bolivia and not get the hang of them. But I do think I'm gonna keep up with... Oh, this is not going to end well. Well, we can at least navigate the plane to the safe spot. We're good. Exit the plane. Fuck is that? Tracer! Sounds like one. Tracked us. Plane must be bugged. Knew this was too good to be true. Prepare to repel the enemy. I say again, prepare to repel the enemy. Nice Play it hot. Be ready. Gotcha. 
Sending in light helicopters up again this close against people who have this kind of firepower is suicide. We got incoming on the ridge line. Wolves on the ridge line. Fucking stupid wolves. They're essentially just clustered up in a group, which is what you really, really ought not to do against any kind of automatic weapons. Essentially, they haven't learned from the lessons learned in the First World War. Fire support on that hill! Fire! Whatever support troops they got on the hill ain't moving. Take him down, Ash. Take him down. Sniper on the hilltop. He's gone. Copy that, Thatcher. Clear to engage. Enemy fire support. I'm out. Yes, old man, they do call themselves that, and they're fucking idiots. We can't grab another weapon. The enemy fire is too intense. Switching to sidearm. Call in another f crap, we can. Gas grenade. Let's trade. You can have a gas grenade and I can have whatever you're having. We need to clear the area of enemy forces. In the tree line. Handle the boogies in the tree line. <laughs> Only sh a bunch of shotguns here, but we got enough ammo for at least one more mag of. They're gone. Good show, people. Let's talk to Dr. Ballard. See what he has to say. Reform on me. Dr. Ballard. It was a close call with the ambush, but we got out in one piece. Thank you. Nathan and his work are safe now. We have what we need to finish the antidote. None of this would have been possible without your help, Nomad. Thank you for your work, Dr. Ballard. 
The antidotes are only shot to stop this madness. They've been extracted successfully. And we got the rewards. The underbarrel shotgun, the Thatcher appearance, and the K1A assault rifle. Hope Vigil doesn't know we've been taking it from him. Or... And that is all the rewards, and that is the entire Operation Amber Sky live event. So I hope you have been enjoying these videos. Now. Sentinel won't try and pull off anything else. With you there, I don't think that'll be a problem. If they know what's good for them. Copy that. Please you know. So, what is my opinion about this entire event as a Rainbow Six fan as, and as a Ghost Recon fan? Well, as a Ghost Recon story, it's fairly decent. I mean, I don't really like the entire idea of using gas defensively in that manner and I don't like the fact that uh, the gas masks are obviously pretty I mean they're too convenient um, walking into that gas cloud is for any reasonably prepared military operator just a mild inconvenience uh, sentinels gotta be losing more troops to it uh, to exposure themselves rather than... I mean, it, it makes no sense to deploy, deploy the gas that way. It just doesn't. And the entire thing, what bugs me the most about this event is the fact that it obviously doesn't require Rainbow in any way, shape or form. They didn't include anything from Quarantine, they didn't include anything from Outbreak, and thank god for that. Uh, they didn't include the white masks. I mean, you could have this wonderful storyline of Operator Smoke trying to buy some nerve agent for his canister. Imagine if this entire storyline had been minimalized, like the one in Wildlands one was. Imagine if this was just, Smoke has disappeared off the grid, he has gone to this island, no one knows why, no one knows why he's with Sentinel, and it turns out he's just one, he, he just wants some gas for his, uh, for his canisters. Imagine if that were the story. Imagine if, I mean, they already did that once. They did that in Wildlands, and they did it with Cavera. Where the story essentially was that Cavero was trying to go after her brother. And that was a good story. I mean, it was pretty... It wasn't really one of these end-of-the-world things that Aroa has far too many of. Every single thing on Aroa seems to be able to kill everyone on the planet. And at some point... You have to wonder why the fuck the uh, US government hasn't nuked the island yet. Because at this point, nuking the fuck out of this entire island would be justified in every sense of the word. I mean, from the drones, from the, to the biological weapons, to the terminators. I mean, just nuking the fucking place would make sense. And uh, I'm going to regret those words if Ubisoft ever decide that is how they want to do it. But I pray to whatever that they don't actually make nukes the, the next thing. Because that is just going to be tiresome. But like I said, I would have liked to see this entire thing be more about actual rainbow stuff. I mean, they included some of the elements. Breaching buildings and stuff like that, but... It didn't make any se it, ma it didn't ma it make any difference. I mean, close quarters tactics like that should have been in breakpoint from the beginning. 
So, while it is kind of nice to go through it, and I do think that the gas mechanic is somewhat interesting, I gotta admit, in the end, I don't see this as a Rainbow Six event. I don't. And that's regrettable, because there were definitely the uh, ability here to make this into a good Rainbow Six event. And in the end, what we got, well, I gotta love, say, uh, Thatcher's lines are wonderful. Finca and Ash are also very true to how their characters should behave. But aside from that, yeah. That's that. See you around, both on Aroa in Rainbow Six Siege and, of course, in DCS World. Take care.